The latest developments now on a shooting at the nation's Capitol building today. Congressional staffers and tourists fled the U.S. Capitol after gunshots in the visitor center. Officials say the shooting happened at a security checkpoint staffed by Capitol Police and that the suspect was known to law enforcement. And now we're hearing from a Rhode Islander who was inside the Capitol when shots rang out. Highway to Sue's reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in our studio now with more. Mike and Shannon, tonight we spoke with a Rhode Islander who was taking a guided tour of the Capitol when the shooting happened. She says at first she didn't know what was going on, but did feel safe seeing the police presence all around. A scary situation unfolded inside the U.S. Capitol building Monday afternoon, just as Rhode Island native Cynthia Sexton was about to go on a guided tour. That's when uh, the shots were fired and the police were running and they yelled for us to you know, hit the floor. Sexton, who works at Newport Naval College, remained calm. After a while, something came on the intercom, shooter and shelter in place. For about 20 minutes, Sexton said she sat on the floor until she was told to evacuate. U.S. Capitol Police say a man drew what appeared to be a weapon and pointed it at officers. Police shot the man and he was rushed to the hospital. Officials aren't confirming the man's identity, but sources tell CBS News he is 66-year-old Larry Dawson, who disrupted a session of Congress last October. Unfortunately, we have to prepare for these eventualities, and we do. Earlier in the day, Senator Jack Reed's office underwent training for this very type of incident. It was just purely coincidental, but the practice took place about 11 this morning. The incident took place about 2.43. Everyone in my office was did what they were told to do and what they had practiced and sheltered in place, secured the exits, and, and we're waiting for the word from the Capitol Police to, that the lockdown was over. It's what we need to expect to be alert at all times. Areas that are high concentration, those are areas where you just need to be cautious. And I think regrettably, it will be the new normal. And Sexton wasn't able to finish her tour and had to evacuate the building, but she says she won't let this incident hold her back. And next time she visits D.C., she'll do that tour again. Now, there was a female bystander who suffered minor injuries, but no officers were injured. The suspect, who is known to police, is expected to appear in court tomorrow. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.